Big news coming out of Disneyland. We finally have a date when it comes to Magic Band Plus debuting. We did hear at some point this fall was the last update that we got. Spectrum News 1 reports that Disney announced Wednesday that the wearable technology, similar to a smartwatch for Disney theme park goers, will be available for the first time at its Anaheim theme park starting October 26th. That is just a few days away. The wearable technology and the Magic My Magic Plus program allowed visitors to sync their hotel room key, theme park ticket, fast pass, photo pass, and other features into an RFID chip worn on the wearer's wrist. Uh, the bands would come in different Disney-styled designs, and the band provides wearers hands-free convenience, no more fumbling for park tickets or hotel room keys, stuck in a wallet or purse, most of the critical information a guest would need. So is on the wrist. Visitors with the wearable technology could seek hidden virtual bounties and using the Play Disney Parks augmented reality app on their mobile phones reveal certain characters hiding throughout the Star Wars themed land of Galaxy's Edge. The Magic Band Plus costs $35 and can be purchased online and at select locations throughout the Disneyland Resort. Tyler, what do you plan on using a Magic Band Plus for at the Disneyland Resort or do you? I mean, I'm definitely going to buy one. I'm very curious about the technology overall, and plus I'll be able to use it in Disney World, which we go to you know, free, pretty frequently. So I think the number one thing that I am looking forward to, though, is just the fact that I'm you know, I'm 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 getting tired of going on rides and plugging in that like twelve digit number every time we want to do like a photo pass thing at Splash Mountain or whatever it be. And so I'm excited that it's just gonna automatically come to my account just like it does in Disney World because I think Will it though? Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> it doesn't always work. I'm not gonna lie. That's one thing I hope that they figured out a little bit more and they probably didn't, but when it does work, it's really convenient and it's fun. Like you go, you like spend a day at the parks and then you go through your photos and you're like, oh, okay, cool. I got some of the stuff that, you know, that I, uh, and I didn't have to type in this massive number to, to get it. So I'm excited about that. I, I'm curious to see, you know, the things it does in like Galaxy's Edge and stuff like that because I was very underwhelmed with like the data pad games and things like that yeah. at, at, at Galaxy's Edge. And I'm kind of thinking, I'll probably be underwhelmed by this too, but I'm. <laughs> I think you have to use both of them together now. Well, yeah, right? you use you use Play Disney with the Magic Band, and I don't know characters appear, or you use augmented reality with your phone screen, I guess. So it sounds interesting. I think if they can expand this technology um, into a bunch of other experiences around the parks, that would be a great thing. And I I just think you know. The show stuff will also be interesting, like mm -hmm. going to Fantasmic or World of Color, and and maybe that little vibration that's in the watch will be kind of fun. Maybe I don't know how the haptic feedback's feeling it with a thirty-five dollar um, little wrist watch thing. I don't think it's going to be that great, but we'll see. <laughs> I, I'm very, I'm well, overall, I'm just like curious about the whole situation. You know, I don't think there's anything that I'm like. I can't wait to do this. I just think that as somebody who is like such a fan of the theme parks, I just want to see what exactly this adds to my day. Mm -hmm. And I think the photo pass is probably the number one thing for me. Outstanding. Yeah. Well, Outstanding. we look forward to having Magic Band Plus join the mix finally out on the West Coast. Moving right along now. Disney 100 Years of Wonder Celebration is coming to the Disneyland Resort in 2023. Travel Pulse reports that beginning January 27th, the happiest place on Earth will receive new platinum-infused decor throughout the resort. New sparkling looks for Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and their pals, special food and beverage offerings, merchandise, and more. Walt Disney's original Sleeping Beauty Castle will be dressed in style for the anniversary. The castle will be adorned with elegant platinum banners and bunting accented by a magnificent... Kabachan, featuring the three good fairies who illuminate it with their shimmering pixie dust. Two water fountains will grace either side of the moat, while a beautiful wishing star will sparkle from the tower above. Disneyland Resort guests will be dazzled by two all-new nighttime spectaculars, World of Color, one at Disney California Adventure Park, and the wondrous 
Journeys at Disneyland Park, both featuring new original songs. And the new Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway attraction opens early on January 27th. That is exciting news before the reimagined Mickey's Toontown reopens in spring 2023. And in time for spring, the Magic Happens Parade will have its long-awaited return to Disneyland Park. I feel the magic, and now you can too, because apparently it happened at one point. And it's coming back. Hey, Katrina, what are you most looking forward to in terms of planning a trip around when it comes to the Disney 100 celebration? All centered at Disneyland Resort, it seems. I know. Isn't that exciting? That is cool. You know, you and I, a couple weeks ago during the uh, D23 announcements, uh, talked a lot about sort of these new shows and these things that were coming that got announced on stage there. Um, And now we have more specifics when it comes to the Disney 100. Oh, my gosh. What am I planning my trip around? What are you planning? The Wishing Star. Oh, God. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to sit there all day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that star. Look at that star. It's so <laughs> sparkly and shiny. Mm. Um, you know, I'm honestly, it's magic happens. I have yeah. never seen it. I want to see it. I've waited years to see this. I want to see it. And now and you that's can. And that's the only thing I need to go do is go there first, mm. see that parade, mm. be like, oh. Okay. Well, there it is. And then, uh, and then go and then watch the nighttime shows because I always like night- nighttime shows are always fun. And then now with like the progressive, uh, like whatever what they do, like the projection mapping and stuff mm-hmm. is going to be even better. And so I'm excited to kind of see those things. And so I kind of I'm not a big World of Color fan, um, but I'm excited to see what new things they're going to bring to the table. So I like to watch it because they're the new one that they did for like Halloween was just like a bust. When do you, they, when do they you not appreciate a good misting? No, <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I have a humidifier at home. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, but I think that's like, these are like the, the things that I want to see. Mm-hmm. I think Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, that'd be kind of fun to go see. And But it's going to be like pretty much a cookie cut of the the Disney World one. I don't know. I've been, I've heard rumors it's going to be a little longer. Yeah, I is heard it? it might be a smidge different, which yeah. is great. Is it going to be, what, two seconds longer? And they're like, oh, we had to turn I, a different way. So. I'm assuming there's a brand Ooh. new scene. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I hope for. so. Yeah. I'm going to so. lose it if they don't. I want to see an, another crab, because if you know, mm. there's always a crab in the scene. And every scene has and a every, crab in it. Every scene has a little little crab moving around, so you have to find the crab. This With my Pluto, crab dance. naturally, yeah, yeah, my crab. And oh, then, that's a good dance. Good and then crab Pluto dance. is always in the scene, but you can't see him, so you always have to like find him at the end of every. Where's Pluto? Scene. And then poor little Pluto's always left behind because Minnie's so mean to him. He gets destroyed in that ride. Let's be real, poor poor little Pluto. That's some uh, <sighs> anyway. There's some animal cruelty going on. Is, <laughs> Minnie is the worst uh, when wow. it comes to Pluto. Like, mm. did you see it? She like threw him in the back with the trunk and then like shut it and then Pluto's like what? Because um, he takes up so much time for Mickey. That, that's her time. Selfish. Oh my mm-hmm. goodness. I think I you've uncovered the her plot, her I'm evil nefarious plot. pretty convinced. Yeah. I think I know what's going on. Anyway, her fashion's so. great, but man, her personality when mm. it comes to selfishness is pretty disgusting. Come on, Minnie. Uh, anyway, so... Almost as bad as Daisy. <laughs> let's not get into that A lot of sass there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, anyway, but these are like some exciting things that are happening for the 100, and plus like the castle. I mean, honestly, come on, you, it's gonna be fun to see the castle dressed up again. I think it's cool. They're gonna the have castle. little fountains on the side. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's a small thing, it, but it's are cool. They take it away? I'm, I'm so uh-huh. worried that it's gonna fall into disrepair quick, and nobody's gonna uh-huh. fix it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I hate to be uh, a negative Nancy here, but it's like it's one of those things where. It's going to get the initial. It's going to get the initial promotional funding, and then it's probably not going to get any funding afterwards. This is kind of how Disney works, um, where it's like, oh yeah, promotional funding for the celebration. There you go. It may work as long as the celebration goes on, and then if it starts to fall into disrepair after, I don't think anybody's going to. They'll be like, I will drown it. It's fine. The poor little turtles and the poor little ducks. That's like their little chilling spaces, and now it's going to have a fountain. It'll aerate the water. Be good. Oh, poor go turtle, turtle, go. They're like, I'm just trying to relax around <laughs> here. <laughs> and perhaps it'll bring some fun to their area. They'll yeah, like it. Sure. Yeah. They'll appreciate it. It'll they be will. Good. Yeah. yeah, a little extra splash. Yeah. That'll be nice. I want to see little duckies in there, splish splashing with the water. Heck like- yeah. Do you remember the year of Million Dreams having those ridiculous looking swans? They oh, were gosh. like iridescent looking swans. It was only there yeah. for probably the first six months of oh, the year million God. dreams part one i don't one. think i saw them no. No. You, you can find them online they are um 
I'm not sure what what the idea was because uh, they're not real. They weren't real swans. Obviously, they were like like iron looking creation swans to try and help with the celebration that was happening and it just did not sort of hit right and um, they were gone pretty quick but I recall those being in the mode I always thought like (laughs) it'd be so nice to have something in in the mode again yeah Yeah. it'd be so nice to see something they could have real swans because real swans are evil they did have real swans at one point (laughs) oh well they're evil there are photos (laughs) they're mean (laughs) yeah they're not the happiest of creatures no they're not as as angelic as they look yeah no you get too close they yeah. get you. We know. Hello? We know those popcorns. Hello, Hello? Michael. Was that his idea? <laughs> See. Hello. He's oh. very welcoming to these geese. I, th- I feel like swans. Mm, swans, swans, yeah. swans. Yeah. Yeah. Not uh, not like the golden goose known as our own Garrett Hassel, but that's right. Swans. What a treasure. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, you let us know. Are you looking forward to the Disney 100 celebration? What are you looking forward to the most out of the list of offerings? Now that we know so much is heading our way, specifically at the Disneyland Resort. Very exciting to see us get that big 100 celebration happening at the happiest place on earth. Happy place. Welcome. 